Wanikia Pilame Yayelo, Pilame Yayelo, and he Who owns grass and valleys, sagebrush and poplar trees? Who owns all these horses? Our way of life Whose policy We couldn't take the money There are those Who said we should We held on to the old ways The way our elders were we held on to our old way, the way they said we would. On a clear day, you will see me still riding free on a cloudy day. This will be an example that all natural lands don't have to be managed by the government. On a clear day, you will see. A lot of places in my life when I was younger, but this one you know, has burned its, its, uh, its stay in my mind forever. You can take all the cattle, all the horses you demand, but you will never take our spirit. Our way of life, we are the land. This is the sacred place where they performed the ritual thousands of years ago. This is where they performed the ritual in 2010. So this is where it should be. Understand. You cannot steal our spirit, our way of life. We are the dance. You cannot steal our spirit, our way of life. We are the land. The horse sanctuary is awesome, I think, because of the horses. First of all, they're such an awesome, majestic creature, and then to know that they're free and not owned is like the land here. I think for what somebody, anybody can do, to help protect this region is to remember to associate uranium and water because it's a real threat to water. This place should stay forever uh, in the Fall River County and, and uh, but it's going to take some help because it's in real danger now. Now we're faced with an even greater challenge. The destruction of our pollution of our atmosphere, our, our underground water supply by the uranium mine. And it's going to be my last great battle, but I'm going to win this one.